School is a social experience. You don't go to school by yourself. You go to school with other people. And learning and cognitive development are also a social experience. And so we believe that as girls develop skills in all kinds of important areas, reading, writing, math, problem solving, that developing skills in social emotional learning helps their their whole selves. I do work with girls um, from pre-K to four. I work with them through um, classroom presentations, instruction. I do one-on-one -on -one meetings. I also do um, small group instruction with girls. And if girls are you know pretty young here at LS, like pre-K, K, one, sometimes they refer to me as the feelings teacher, the feelings teacher, and I like to say that because that just makes so much sense to them. I give them all kinds of different tools, whether it's different breathing techniques, we do lots of mindfulness activities, we do specific um, cognitive activities where girls think about like the messages they tell themselves. I think every girl benefits from being in these conversations. Um, Ellis girls want their teachers to know what's what what's in their toolbox, and they'll actually bring like some information, and they'll say, "I haven't practiced this in the classroom when I'm when I'm uh, struggling with something, or when I when I want to actually even show the classroom what I'm learning." So it's it's very positive here. Th this idea of honoring your whole self, I think helps girls to feel really empowered about like when they get to middle and upper that you know about self-care right because self-care starts when you're really really young at Ellis if you take care of yourself every aspect of yourself as well as knowing when to ask for help like you have your own voice in social emotional health and so it it, it carries with you